Okay, today I'm going to make a videos about the trigonometrics. Right, this is like a very basic video. However, I hope this basic idea actually can help you understand better about trigonometrics because yeah, a lot of students having issue in this chapter and then they they can't find what is the re relationships between the angle uh, well, with the sine cos tangent. So here I'm going to like um, do some activity uh, not to say activity it means I will do some things to like hope this method actually can help you understand better about the basic of sine cos tangent. Okay, so over here actually you will see a 16 cut and then the cut is with the different angle but then in this experiment I only use all I'm using is sine only yeah maybe if I have lots of time I will make for cos and tangent but if you understand sine I believe the cos and tangent will be the same also alright so first thing is I want you to find the relationships between between the cut alright mean if possible you're trying to group them together if you think both of them will give the same give uh, give the same value Alright, so for so now it's very simple. What you need to do is you just take out your calculator and then you just press the calculator and then you're trying to find out something. Let, let's say sine 70, you just press sine 70. Okay, let's say I press sine 70. What I will got? I will got 0 0.934 maybe. 0 0.934. Alright, and then I have to think in okay in this row yeah any of the cut will give me the same value 0 0.934 yeah so basically if you see the cut you can find out that the, uh, from this one from the first row this one is first quadrant because the angle itself is between 0 to 90 in the second row here this is for second quadrant because you know the angle is between uh, 90 to 180 and the third row over here is third quadrant because the angle is between 180 to 270. And the last row, of course, is the fourth quadrant. The angle is between uh, the angle will be between 270 to 360. All right. So you, you can see the difference. All right. So if if you finish press all the calculator already, and then I guess you already see the answer. Okay. However. I'm not asking you to press practice how to press calculator on on this thing. Okay, I want you to understand the relationships. So, actually, I can do this one very fast with, without using calculator. First thing, for example, I know size thirty will equals to zero point five. So I open this card. I got zero point five. Yeah. So, this is size thirty. So size thirty will get will give me zero point five. So I have to think. In the second quadrant, which angle will actually will have the same value with the size 30? So, I will, if this is 30 degree, I know in the second quadrant, size 150 will give me the same value, 0 0.5 as well. Alright, and then third quadrant. Third quadrant, I know size 210 will give me the same value, 0 0.5, but then this one will have negative okay the last one if you ask me I, of course I know the last one will be sine 330 same thing will give me negative 0.5 alright not I memorize this one it's because I understand this one alright then okay let me flip it back also okay this is the card actually I pick so just now I pick this one 30, 150, 210, and 330. Okay, what is the relationship among them? So, this is some interesting thing. You can see if this one is 30 degree in the second quad quadrant, I just use 180 minus this angle, I can get 150. So I use 180 minus this angle, I can get 150. Then both of them will give me the same value. In third quadrant, I just use 180 plus this angle, 
will give me 210 so I know this card actually will have the same value with this one but we will have the negative same in the last quadrant is 360 minus this angle then I will get 330 with the same value all right if you still cannot understand maybe we try something else okay size 20 size 20 is 0 0.342 so in the second quadrant in the second quadrant is what is which one will give us okay this is 20 degree right so I just you 180 minus 20 degree I know 160 will give me the same value and then third one I just you 180 plus 20 I know this one will give me the same value with negative the last one I just you 360 minus 20 will give me the same value all right how actually this thing work okay let me explain how this thing actually work let me take out all the irrelevant card over here so this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant third quadrant and last quadrant so from here let me label it, them as a first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant all right okay first quadrant is simple why I label it as the first quadrant because this angle is between 0 to 90 second quadrant between because this angle is between uh, 90 to 180 third quadrant uh, 180 to 270 and the last quadrant will be 270 to 360 so obviously this angle is for in the correct quadrant all right then I flip it back before you can understand negative and positive I want you to understand a very simple thing I'm not sure whether you see this thing before or not you will see ASTC yeah this one a lot of students will have different way to memorize it some some students just told me it's what all science teacher crazy okay this is how they remember but what is actually what is the discard this means in the first quadrant you see 0 to 90 degree all will get positive when I say all will get positive means sine cos tangent will get positive in the first quadrant therefore you can see this one I definitely will get positive one because all will get positive so in the first quadrant in the second quadrant only sign will get positive when I say only sign will get positive means what mean cos and tangent in the second quadrant will get negative so therefore this is sign right this is size correct or not size second quadrant value I get positive you see positive okay in the third quadrant in the third quadrant only tangent positive that mean size and cost will give us negative so you can see my sign value in the third quadrant actually is negative and of course last quadrant over here only cost will get positive that means size and tangent is negative in the last quadrant so this angle is four in the last quadrant and this is sine so I know this one is negative this is how I remember all positive sine positive tangent positive and cost positive so when tangent and cost positive that means sine will get negative okay because this is the sine card all right okay first thing is you must understand about this one in order to do trigonometry yeah, you can remember like all science teacher crazy or you can find a lot a lot of other methods to remember this one however you must understand what is the meaning for first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and last quadrant okay however actually they have some name for it for first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant okay just let me right over here so the first quadrant they will call it acute angle the second quadrant they will call it obtuse angle and the third and fourth they will call it reflex angle all right so you have a look like this this is c yeah sorry so the first quadrant 0 to 90 they will call it acute angle and then from 90 to 180 they call it obtuse angle and then from 180 to 360 they will call it reflex angle okay this is the name of the angle yeah because somehow the question will say as you find the obtuse angle so you must know obtuse angle means the angle must be between 90 to 180 okay this is some name for this one first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and last quadrant all right if you understand this one then we move on 
Okay, now we find the relationship between first quadrant, second quadrant, third and fourth. So let me flip back. This is 20 degrees, isn't it? Alright, so in the first quadrant, we call it angle. So, you have a look on this. Angle equals to 20, isn't it? Angle equals to 20, because this is sine angle. So angle equals to 20. Then, in the second quadrant, the angle will need to 180 have to minus the angle then we will get the value in second quadrant so my angle is 20 so if 180 minus 20 what I will got I will got 160 so you can see that actually my size 160 is same value with my size 20 you see both is exactly same value if you not believe you can press the calculator by yourself all right all right then what is the third quadrant third quadrant is 180 plus angle so my angle is 20 degree so if my angle is 20 degree 180 plus 20 is what 200 so that's mean i know my size 200 actually will give me the same value with size 20 just because this one 200 is for in the third quadrant i say third quadrant sine will get negative so therefore you see size 20 and size 200 is the same value just the 200 will have the negative all right how about the last one fourth quadrant fourth quadrant is is what is 360 minus the angle okay if this is 360 minus the angle my angle is what is my angle over here? My angle over here is 20. So, 360 minus 20 will give us 340. So, I know my size 340 will have the same values with my size 20. But one is negative, one is positive. Alright, it's very obvious, isn't it? So, so now I hope you can understand a little bit of the of their relationships all right then okay then once one of the important information if you are the mx student we always use the we always call call the angle in the first quadrant this one we call it reference angle okay reference angle means no matter what value we want to find we always use the reference angle to find however that one i will make another videos about that if if possible because uh, this one i don't want to go until too deep i just want you to understand the basic of it okay so for example okay let me change something so for for example my first quadrant is size 50. okay you can press calculator what is size 50 Sine 50 actually will give you 0 0.766. Okay, now my question is, what is the what what is the value? Oh, means okay. What value in the second quadrant actually will give you same with 0 0.766 like just now? All right. So if this one is sine 50, I know in the second quadrant will be 180 minus angle. So therefore, I know something I come into my mind is the second quadrant will be size 130. Alright, will be size 130. Because you press calculator, both of you will give you the same answer, 0 0.766. Alright. Alright, let me open this one as well. So in the third quadrant, will be 180 plus angle what is my angle over here my angle is 50 so what is my sign in the third quadrant with same value with sign 50 which is 180 plus 50 will give you size 230 this one will give you 0 0.766 as well however this one actually will give you negative because third quadrant sign is getting negative so i will get negative 0.66 all right and then my last quadrant which is 360 minus angle my angle is 50 degree right so therefore 
I have to find what is my last one with 310. Why I know? Because it's just 360 minus the angle 50. So 310 will give you same value. So when I flip all, you can see first quadrant sign is positive, second quadrant sign is positive, third quadrant sign is negative, and fourth quadrant sign is negative. So it's totally fulfilled this condition. All sides, tangent, and cos. Alright. I okay, if you understand about this one, okay, let me come back a little bit. Okay. Let, let's uh, forget about this one. Okay, now I want you to see on first and second quadrant. Okay. First quadrant and second quadrant, what's so special about these two quadrants? Oh, let me move like, front a little bit. Yeah, because the lighting is not so good over here. Alright. This is in first quadrant, this is in second quadrant. Okay, what's so special about these two quadrants? You will see that both angle plus together will equal to 180. Do you see? 50 plus 130 will give you 180. If you want me to choose, I can choose others. 160, 20. Both of these you will have the same value. You see? When they have the same value, first quadrant and second quadrant, if they have the same value, both of these one plus together will equal to 180. Okay, this is very common because in the second quadrant is 180 minus the first quadrant one, minus this angle. So it's so obvious if this is 20, this is 160. If this is 50, this is 130. If this one is this one is 80, this one will be 100. Okay, because it's 180 minus angle. One. All right. If you can understand this one, oh, sorry. What happens if it goes to the question like this? You got the question like this. First thing is, he gives you sine y equals to 3 over 5, and it asks you to find x. You got a diagram like this. Of course, this diagram I just randomly draw it myself. And assume this one is a straight line. Okay, you just assume this one is a straight line. Okay, now, he asks us to find the length of x. The problem for a lot of students is, they, they will think that, how can I form a triangle with this angle? Because trigonometric, in our knowledge is trigonometric, we must do it in the right triangle. So, it's very important that you know that you can actually borrow this angle. I call it Y1 maybe. You can actually borrow this angle to solve this question. Why I say can borrow? Because you just assume if this is 20 degree, this should be 160 degree. If so, 20 degree and 160 both will give you the same value, isn't it? So you can actually borrow from the angle beside. Because we know in the, this angle actually falls in the first quadrant and this angle falls in the second quadrant. If this is 40, this one will be 140 because this is straight line. Right? If this is straight line, y plus y1 will always equal to 180. So actually for trigonometric you can always borrow but then end up you of course you have to know why it's for in the second quadrant now but in this case because this is sine sine first and second quadrant will get positive so it doesn't matter but if this is cos and tangent it will be different case however i just want you to understand the very basic thing first so if i borrow from here we know sine is equals to opposite over hypotenuse opposite over hypotenuse so, what I know is, okay, let me take another color of my program. Okay, then I explain using, okay, over here, whenever he gives you this one 3 over 5, you have to understand the 3 over 5 is always mean the ratio, not the actual length. This is ratio. When I say this is ratio, mean for this one, opposite is 3. So, this one over here is 3. And the hypotenuse is 5. This is ratio, isn't it? If this is ratio, 5 will become 10 cm. So 3 obviously will become 6 cm. Isn't it? Because you just multiple 2, 5, 5, 5 multiple 2, you got 10. And 3 multiple 2, you got 6 cm. So this one is the actual length. Because a lot of students will think that 3 over 5 means 3 cm over 5 cm. It can be 3 cm over 5 cm, but then this is ratio. If you ratio 1, then it will be 3 cm over 5 cm. 
but this one is ratio so if let's say this one is 100 cm that means here will be 60 cm because we only following the ratio so therefore he asks us to find x x is equal to 6 cm all right yeah so for this diagram i just want you to understand that both of this one in side cos tangent actually both of this one will give the same value if they give you the same value means actually you can borrow from here to solve mean you use this acute angle to solve this one and then only you change back to this one all right all right i hope this video actually can help you understand a little bit because actually i i like try a lot of methods like how to make students understand about this part yes i hope this yeah you you can do experiment by by yourself yes and then yeah i hope this video really gives you some insights about basics of the trigonometrics anyways if you got some feedback or some comment just let me know maybe you got yeah you, you got some ideas like how to improve the video you can just let me know as well anyways thanks for watching hope you enjoy the video